So we can start off with a darker green, which is our sap green. Use that almost neat, but we just need to add a bit of water to it. The liner brush is quite a thirsty brush, so if you don't feel your lines are pulling through really well easily, and it just means that you need to add a tiny bit more water to it. Take the excess off. Okay, so let's use it for its name, and that is to make a line very simply by just placing the tip down and just drawing the tip round so we're not pushing down the brush at all. Now I like to do my leaves this way but you can actually go out if you like. I'll show you both. So we'll start off with this one. We're pushing down and lifting up just as we have in previous classes with other brushes. So starting with the tip, press down and pull this and it's actually much easier than it looks to use a liner brush. I thought because I've got shaky hands that uh, I would not get on with them but I'm loving liner brushes now. So you can see I'm kind of doing, doing them in different directions. I'm also leaving a bit of space and there's a reason for that. We shall now go through. So, what we're going to do now is put that sort of washy brush and take the excess water off. We're going to do like a highlight, like one in a slightly different colour, some brighter, lighter green. how these little finishing touches can elevate a piece. It's really lovely how it works. I'll leave it like that. It's all very characterful that way. I really love doing these leaves with the liner brush. quite like that one, it's very characterful, I'm going to leave it like that. Now let me just show you very quickly if you're pulling the leaves out from the stem. So we want to go prepare our liner brush, I just pull it through the paint like this, prepare it, make sure there's no drips here, and then take the excess off. So if we're pulling out from the stem, starting from the stem, tip down and then flare the brush out. It doesn't go out a lot and lift up. So you get a slightly different, oops, slightly different shaped leaf this way as well. It seems to end in more of a point. Maybe that's just the way that I'm doing it. Yeah, you can stop earlier actually and not take it through and you get more of an ovate leaf. But if you like the spikiness, come right up to the point. And then we can do the same with that. I started with the light there. And I'm just going to put some darker green in amongst these leaves. And we just dip your brush in water. 
tiny, tiny bit just to keep it flowing. And you can see it makes them come alive really and they just so it looks so much more real and uh, characterful. Let's move on.